Foreign fighter jets have taken to the sky, kicking off the race for sixth-generation dominance. In this period of contemporary military strength, the United States, China, and Russia competed for supremacy. As the world watches, it is clear that the United States is not alone in the arena. China is rapidly rising through the ranks, forging ahead in the creation of modern weaponry. In this video, we'll look at China's effort to develop the ultimate fighter, a top-secret hypersonic aircraft capable of reaching Mach 10. But before we dive into China's groundbreaking endeavor, let's first understand the landscape of cutting-edge military technology that has paved the way for such achievements. The world is preparing for a war that may have already begun. Since the Ukraine war, rivalries have become clearer and opposing nations louder. South Korea, surrounded by its most powerful enemies, particularly China and North Korea, must take this fact most seriously. The United States, with a similar list of rivals, is now working with South Korea to fortify the military of the Asian country. One of the most significant fortifications is a warship or destroyer born of an idea from the U.S. Navy almost three decades ago. Armed with record-breaking numbers of ammunition, this destroyer is today known as an arsenal ship, the South Korean Arsenal Ship. The South Korean Arsenal Ship, also known as the Joint Firepower Ship, will be the sea-based part of South Korea's kill chain. This network of sensors, spies, special forces, and shooters would destroy North Korea's government and nuclear weapons if they were getting ready to use them. In this video, we focus on the Arsenal Ship, which is the newest of this trio and is still being made. Plans for the ship were first made public in August 2019. Four years later, in April 2023, the South Korean Navy named a local shipbuilder, DSME, as the provider to deliver the ship's concept design by the end of the year. If the project is found to be possible during the planning phase, construction will begin. The Navy wants to build three of these ships, and each one will have at least 80 missiles, which is more than enough to send a strong message to other countries. These boats wouldn't just carry any old missiles. Instead, they would use a mix of existing missiles, brand new ship-to-surface ballistic missiles that are being made for them, and the Navy's newest Aegis destroyer, the KDDX. The Defense Acquisition Program Administration, DAPA, South Korea's agency in charge of improving the defense capabilities of the nation, announced plans to invest about 467 million U.S. dollars between the years 2024 and 2036 into the development of this new missile. The need for the arsenal ship, the new missile and related missiles, has been emphasized in the war in Ukraine, which continues to prove that modern warfare would require a staggering amount of conventional weapons available promptly. In the 1990s, when the idea of an arsenal ship was first thought of, the U.S. was trying to meet the same need. The idea of a remote magazine on the seas that would greatly improve the firepower of a Navy fleet to beat that of foes was appealing and welcomed, at least at first. Funding problems would come up, making it less likely to happen, which would lead to its cancellation in the end. But the idea has come up again, this time in South Korea. The U.S. is still likely to be involved, which would be a big deal not only because the U.S. has tried to make an arsenal ship before, but also because the country knows how to run big ships with a lot of weapons. Now let's find out why the U.S. Navy is known as the most powerful Navy force in the world and dive into their arsenal of weapons. Among all of these future weapons, the OTO Malara 76 naval gun stands out as a strong winner. This small but powerful weapon came from Italy and was accepted by the U.S. Navy in 1975. It is used on a variety of naval platforms for close defense, air support, and ground engagement. The OTO Malara 76 Naval Cannon, a magnificent work of naval engineering, exemplifies the flawless synthesis of precision and adaptability. Its remarkable journey began in Italy, where the seeds of this naval marvel were sown, eventually finding a formidable place within the arsenal of the U.S. Navy in 1975. The tiny and unassuming look of this naval gun conceals the massive firepower that hides within, placing it as an unrivaled asset for a variety of crucial functions across numerous naval platforms. The OTO Malara 76 naval gun is the embodiment of a tradition of innovation that has transcended national boundaries. It was crafted with brilliance and accuracy by skilled craftsmen, 
Not only is it a part of the arsenal of the United States Navy, signifying a collaboration in terms of technology, but it also serves as recognition of its unmatched capabilities. The development of the naval cannon over the years has been perfecting its performance to satisfy the rigorous requirements of modern naval combat. This voyage of refinement has taken place over many years. The OTO Malara 76 Marine Gun stands as a sentinel on the high seas because of how hard it works to be the best it can be. Its many different uses show how flexible it is on a battlefield. Its precision-guided projectiles and ability to fire quickly make it a great shield against enemies, whether in the air or on the ground. The gun's ability to quickly switch from one job to another shows how flexible it is, making it a reliable asset even in the face of dynamic maritime challenges. When it comes to naval superiority, the OTO Malara 76 naval gun continues to redefine the boundaries of possibility. Its small size disproves the idea that power is proportional to size. Instead, it is a sign of power that goes beyond physical limitations. It shows that technical skill and strategic deployment are the real factors that determine naval strength. The OTO Malara 76 naval gun is a shining example of how innovation drives maritime forces into the future. It is a source of inspiration for both Navy engineers and naval strategists. As we dive deeper into the world of naval armaments, we come across another marvel, the Mark 38 Automated 25mm Gun. This extraordinary piece of naval ordnance is a monument to unwavering firepower and ingenious design, reinforcing naval warships against a variety of threats lurking in both open waters and coastal domains. The Mark 38 gun system is a step forward in military defense, combining cutting-edge technology with a smart strategy. Its automatic nature gives military ships the ability to fire many shots quickly, which changes the way battles are fought on the high seas. The gun system is made in a way that makes it a strong defender against light surface targets and coastal enemies. This makes it an important part of protecting marine interests. Within the core of the Mark 38 gun system, lies a combination of precision and speed, which provides naval forces with an invaluable advantage in the face of ever-evolving threats. Its unrelenting firepower serves as a useful reminder that naval superiority depends not only on large-scale strategies, but also on the intricacies of technological mastery. The gun system's presence on naval platforms echoes the unwavering commitment to defense, where each shot fired resonates with the determination to secure maritime domains. In a world where flexibility and adaptability dictate the course of naval combat, the Mark 38 automatic 25mm cannon stands out as a steadfast example of unyielding determination. It serves as a defender of naval vessels, a manifestation of technological advancement, and a symbol of modern naval forces. The Mark 38 gun system is a lasting tribute to the power of invention in altering the course of maritime wars. High above the tumultuous waves, a silent guardian watches over the expanse of the open sky, the Phalanx Close-In Weapon System, known affectionately as the Phalanx. In the ever-escalating symphony of modern naval warfare, where airborne threats can materialize at blistering speeds, the Phalanx stands unwavering, an embodiment of cutting-edge technology designed to safeguard naval assets from the perils of the aerial domain. At the heart of the Phalanx's effectiveness lies its M61A1 six-barreled automatic gun, a marvel of engineering precision. This rapid-fire pistol fires a barrage of projectiles at incredible velocities, all of which converge on their targets with unflappable precision. It is like having the agility and instincts of a predator at your disposal. The Phalanx has the potential to defend against any type of threat, from supersonic missiles flying through the heavens to subsonic threats looking to exploit any flaw in the system. It does this by transforming the atmosphere above into an impregnable fortress. The Phalanx does not merely react to the challenges posed by airborne threats, but anticipates them. Its cutting-edge radar system constantly monitors the skies with a steadfast stare, identifying potential dangers well before their appearance over the horizon. The system's remarkable ability to distinguish friend from foe ensures that the response is surgical, neutralizing dangers without hesitation and without error. In a time when technology is what makes a navy strong, 
The phalanx stands out as a real example of human creativity and innovation. Its position on naval ships shows not only that the U.S. Navy has a lot of firepower, but also that it is committed to securing every part of the battle space. As anti-ship rockets hurtle toward their targets, the phalanx stands as the last line of defense, a determined guardian who makes sure that no enemy can get into the realm above. Yet, as we traverse the sea of technological advancement, a new force beckons our attention, the railgun. Powered by the awe-inspiring might of electromagnetic force, this revolutionary impulse accelerator upends the very concept of conventional weaponry. The railgun represents a paradigm shift, a departure from the reliance on chemical propellants towards a realm where electromagnetic energy propels projectiles at velocities previously thought unattainable. The railgun's potential is astounding, with ranges that extend beyond the horizon and projectile speeds that rival natural forces. It eliminates distance limits by providing a platform that can engage targets over a hundred miles away with exceptional precision. With ranges stretching beyond the horizon and precision that rivals the stars, the railgun becomes the embodiment of cost-effective long-range engagement. As the seas become a theater of scientific marvels, the railgun commands attention as a harbinger of change, revolutionizing naval warfare on a global scale. In the realm of energy-based weaponry, the laser weapon system emerges as a true marvel. Developed by Kratos Defense and Security Solutions, this laser system embodies science fiction turned real. Designed to disable drones, maritime vessels, and even fighters, its efficiency and affordability make it a formidable asset in modern naval warfare. From the domain of fantasy to the harsh arena of reality, the laser weapon system emerges as a testament to the indomitable spirit of human innovation and the pinnacle of technological achievement. This ethereal concept, conceived in the hallowed corridors of Kratos Defense and Security Solutions, has been meticulously materialized into a force reshaping modern naval warfare's very fabric. The laser weapon system is a sentinel of the future, where cutting-edge technology and unrelenting force converge to rewrite the norms of engagement on the open seas. Envisioned by brilliant minds, this laser system is more than just a weapon. It is a paradigm shift. It marks the beginning of a new age in which the battlefield is lit, not by the blinding light of explosives, but by a symphony of photons dancing with deadly precision. Its skills go beyond what humans can do, allowing it to zero in on targets with an accuracy that breaks the rules of traditional warfare. Whether the enemy is a drone flying across the horizon, a ship swerving through dangerous seas, or a fighter jet speeding through the sky, the laser weapon system makes them all equally vulnerable by draining their power with a constant stream of energy. This system is no less than a revolution, where the intangible becomes tangible, and the once unthinkable becomes a strategic reality. As beams of focused light intersect with the machinery of war, they cast aside the conventions of old, leaving adversaries defenseless and demoralized in their wake. The laser weapon system isn't just a weapon, it is an architect of destiny, meticulously sculpting the contours of battles yet to be fought. As we learn more about military weapons, we come across the Mark 38 Automatic 25mm gun, which is a real wonder. This amazing piece of naval weaponry is a great example of unrelenting firepower and clever design. It protects naval ships from a wide range of threats found in both open sea and coastal areas. The Mark 48 is a leader in underwater warfare technology because it is designed to hit targets with unmatched precision. With its sharp senses and ability to keep going after its targets, whether they are fast-moving subs or dangerous threats on the surface, it zeroes in on them. The torpedo's accuracy is a perfect example of how brilliant engineering can be. It is a combination of science and innovation that makes sure its deadly charge always hits its target. Inside its sleek, water-friendly body is a collection of high-tech sensors and tracking systems that are fine-tuned to find and lock enemies with amazing accuracy. The Mark 48's propulsion system moves it through the water at an unmatched speed. This lets it chase down even the most elusive targets. As it moves through the quiet deep, it controls the stage of underwater battles and decides the outcome of fights using stealth and deadly force. The Mark 48 torpedo shows how adaptable and tough people can be in a field like naval fighting.
Its ability to move through the unpredictability of the sea and quickly change its direction to catch moving targets shows how advanced its technology is. This underwater engineering marvel is more than just a weapon. It is also a sentinel that keeps important sea lanes safe and protects the sovereignty of naval areas. In a world where cutting-edge technology is changing how we think about distance, the UGM-133A Trident. Two ballistic missile makes its power clear. This powerful weapon is hidden inside the USS Ohio-class submarines. It can reach across countries and oceans. With a range of over 7,000 miles, the Trident II changes how we think about global involvement, ensuring that no part of the Earth's surface is out of reach. The Trident II missile is not just a show of raw power, but also a symphony of precision and careful planning. With high-accuracy guidance systems, it turns the vastness of the open ocean into a painting of strategic opportunities. Its track record of successful launches is a testament to the careful engineering and rigorous testing that go into making it work. This solidifies its place as a reliable defender of U.S. strategic interests. The Trident II embodies modern warfare, where accuracy and reach rule. It can affect geopolitical dynamics and international events with its payload. In an age when technology has blurred the lines between land and sea, the Trident II missile watches over the nation's strategic imperatives worldwide. In the middle of this symphony of power and accuracy, the Tomahawk Missile Block V stands out as a force that can change to fit the needs of modern battle. It is a great example of naval ingenuity because it can easily and poise through the most complicated terrains. The Tomahawk Missile Block V is not limited by traditional jobs because it has one clear goal. Instead, it adapts to the ever-changing nature of battlefields, doing everything from reconnaissance to delivering ammo equally easily. It is a master of adaptability. It can read the constantly changing symphony of war and change its tune to fit. Its path is like a beautiful dance, a show of cutting-edge technology that paints the sky with its path and leaves a trail of strategic skill in its wake. As the U.S. Navy looks to the future, the Tomahawk Missile Block 5 stands as an example of innovation, a testament to the art of flexibility and a vital tool that ensures naval control in a constantly changing theater of operations. The SM-2 and SM-3 missiles, part of the Raytheon Standard family, showcase advancements in anti-aircraft defense. Guided by high-resolution systems and equipped to engage even ballistic missile warheads, these missiles fortify the U.S. Navy's defense capabilities against airborne threats. The SM-2 and SM-3 missiles from the Raytheon Standard family stand guard over the battlegrounds in space as sentinels, keeping the air safe. With the help of high-resolution systems, these rockets cut through the sky and hit threats in the air with a high degree of accuracy. The SM-2 and SM-3 missiles are the epitome of anti-aircraft defense. They can shoot down both enemy planes and ballistic missile warheads. As our journey through the annals of naval technology comes to an end, one resounding question echoes. Will railgun lasers reign supreme in the future? With their unmatched performance, cost-effectiveness, and adaptability, these futuristic weapons promise to reshape warfare on a global scale. Innovation is still the key to military dominance in the ever-changing world of modern war. As we watch China show off its top-secret hypersonic plane, we are told that the race to be the best never stops. From the simple start of the OTO Malara 76 naval gun to the amazing power of railgun lasers, the U.S. Navy's arsenal shows how creative and determined people can be. As technology moves us into new areas, we can't help but wonder, what does the future hold for naval warfare? Only time will tell. Thanks for watching another episode. While you are still here, make sure to click the video on your screen for more quality content.